good morning guys welcome back to the channel okay so I thought I would start my little voiceover right here because I know you're like okay what in the heck is going on so this is where I kind of start the thinning process of this wig um, as you saw in previous clips um, it's a pretty thick wig I mean it has a lot of density and honestly that is not a bad thing okay um, it's a really good thing especially if you're wanting to customize so, um, oh, and let me, you know, um, start this by saying, you know, I am not a hairstylist. I am not a cosmetologist. I am no um, professional. Everything that I'm doing is kind of just on a whim. Um, things that I've seen, things that um, I've had the, the honor of working with um, a really good friend in her salon. And so it's just me seeing uh, things and wanting to try. And honestly, to have um, a wig piece is a great way to learn things naturally. Uh, not saying that I would do this for anyone else because I probably wouldn't, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what was going on in this clip. Um, yes, it is me um, trying to get rid of some of that density in this wig because, like I said, it's pretty thick. So we're doing the thinning process. Okay guys, so we have finished um, everything. So it's um, it's cut, it's thinned, it's curled. Um, so I wanted to achieve a nice, just a very nice simple look. I didn't want anything too curly. Um, this um, wig has, I believe it's a kinky blowout and it has, a, it has really nice movement once it's washed and blow dried. Um, and flat ironed. It has a really good movement. Um, it does feel very much like my hair texture, but obviously it's it's thicker. Um, but I do like the movement of it, and so I'm kind of giving you guys an idea of how it does move. So, but yeah, I, I was pretty impressed at this point. Okay, so this this is all of the hair that I thinned out of this wig. I could make a whole nother wig with that if I knew how to. So that goes to show you how dense this wig is um, and how much you know wiggle room you have to play with. Good morning guys. Okay so this morning we're going to install this half wig. Um, so I went ahead and did half of my hair, the back part of that is braided down. And so I just have the front of my hair where I just um, flat ironed it and put some really loose curls in it because I'm going to, I think I have an idea of how I want to style it. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead um, just put on a little bit of makeup. It's Sunday morning. I'm trying to get out of here and get ready for church. You know, it's so hard. You know, there are three men in this house. And why is it that I always seem to be the one that gets ready first and I have the most to do? But anyhow, I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup and then we'll come back and we'll start the hair process of this video. Okay, so this is going to be a bit new for me. Okay, so this particular one is, like I said, it's a half wig. Um, it has a drawstring, um, and it has three clips here, one on each side and one in the front and one in the back. So um, 
as you can see, like right around the edges there, um, the weft is right there, but I guess your hair will cover that. So um, I guess that really doesn't, you know, matter. But <laughs> let's see if we can get this thing on because I'm running behind schedule. So let's see what we can do. So you can see a little dullness here, that yellowing. I don't really like that. It's just that little piece right there because everything else seems to, you know, to be blending. I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll deal with that another time. All right, so let's begin. Um, so I guess it goes in there and then that drawstring, I just tucked it underneath. Okay. I don't know. We'll see if that'll stay in place. Oh, that's weird. It feels weird in the back. It feels extremely, extremely huge on my head. <laughs> so what I thought I would do today is just wear it up like this. Okay, so I've got my band and we're gonna just I guess smooth that over, I guess. Okay, um, as you guys can see, this is really going in a really bad way. <laughs> I saw a young lady who does Miss Great's um, uh, wigs, rig reviews as well. She did the style and it was so cute. But um, I think the placement of the wig is so far back, it's, it's just not working. It is a lot of hair. So, let me see if I can work with it in a larger mirror and come back. Huge. <laughs> okay, guys, so <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's an awful lot of hair. I, as I showed you in the video before, I uh, used the thinning shears and tried to thin as much as I could, you know, without destroying the wig. Okay, guys, so I went into this video not realizing that this wig is a three in one, which I guess that means you can wear it as a full wig, you can wear it as a half wig with all of your hair back, or you can wear it with half of your hair up. Okay, now for me, this wig only works as a full wig, which you will see later in the video. I have a very small head, so that wig is halfway back of my head, and there's a lot of gathering in the back. So just so you know, if you have a very small head, you need to wear it as a full wig with leave out in the front. So needless to say, um, I, I don't think that I will be wearing this today um, simply because, yeah, it just feels really weird to me um, that area back here. So it's like you can really see like it's thin, well, you know, like thin here, not as much hair here. And then you've got all this hair that just comes down your back. So what I'll need to do is probably go in, cut some length off of it and see how that works. Okay, so at this point, I believe I'm just frustrated because I don't know exactly what to do. And I'm, you know, not even thinking that there are any other options. So just keep watching. So I think first, I would definitely say that it needs to be thinned out. It doesn't need to have so much bulk um, in order to look more natural. But that's just me. 
So I wanted to come on this morning and let you see. So I got to get out of here because I got to get, get going. But um, either I'll come back this afternoon um, and start um, just some modifications to it and see what we come up with. All right. Okay, so I am about to curl this wig. <laughs> okay guys, yes, an entire month had passed and I had not done anything with this wig. So a little time after I recorded the first half of this video, I reached out to Miss Great and they gave me some really good suggestions on how to um, to deal with the issues that I was having. So I'll talk a little bit later about that in the video, but just so you guys know, the wig is no longer halfway um, at my uh, the top of my head, but it's more towards the front as a full wig. Okay, let's see if we can fix her up. Okay guys, I'm back. So I did this, I did it, I did this install. So actually what happened is I contacted Miss um, Great and I said, hey, look, this is not working. You guys know that I tried on it to use it as a half unit, like, you know, from this part back and then having a little bit more hair exposed in the front. And it just, it was weird. So um, they told me it can be used as a full unit. And I was like, oh, okay. So just take a little bit of the front and pull it out. So yeah, you guys see that? Uh. But anyhow, I just kind of want you guys to see you know this piece so it i think it turned out pretty good i think what i'm gonna do though is i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna show you how i put this on how i actually install it so i'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see so hang on okay so here is that you guys know, just have a little bit of my hair exposed um and you know, I've obviously, you know, I cut it, thinned it out. So there she is. Okay guys, just a quick note. I did not cut this unit again. I left it the length that it was. Um, I did not go and do any more cutting or altering of it. So just put it down for a month and picked it back up and put it on. So this is the unit. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see what I did and how I placed it in the front. So let's do that now. So here is where the piece is right here. So it's right there in the front. So I'm gonna start from the back. I'm just gonna take that off and just lift it off. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just have just this little piece here in the front that's out, which is my hair. And there is the unit there. So, and I just took the drawstring and I pulled it as tight as I can because it really did feel big. So I pulled it as far as I could and then I knotted it so I would have to worry about it slipping. It has a comb in the back, it has uh, two combs on the side, it has one in the front, and it has the little, you know, straps that look like little bra straps on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and actually I'm just gonna flip her over. <laughs> Let me scoot back a little bit so you guys can see. So I'm flipping her over. I'm just gonna place it right there on the top and then pull the comb to the back. And honestly, because of that drawstring, it really does 
it feels very secure. All right. And then we're just gonna flip it. Okay. There she is. She's back home. <laughs> All right. And then I just kind of blend the front of my hair in with that, making sure that that drawstring is tucked in under there. Um, it feels secure. I don't feel like my hair is being pulled or anything. It feels comfortable because I'm very sensitive. You know, my scalp and everything, all of that is extremely sensitive. So, so there we go. We're back in business. <laughs> so, but I really like the way that the actual cut turned out. I don't really have, it's, it's not too bad. I really think that it could use um, a little bit more evening up, but I'm not gonna bother it anymore. But yeah, there it is. Okay, so what do I think about this particular piece? Um, I have to say in the beginning, I was definitely on the fence. Um, I do think it is, it, it does have um, some bulk to it. It does feel very, very dense, but not as dense as the piece that I wore for the show. Um, and I guess that's because this is considered a half wig and I was able to really get in there and thin it out. I don't have it with me, but um, I think I did have a clip where I showed, where I really went in and just thinned out a lot of that hair. So, um, but, and I guess maybe also um, here in the front, um, because I don't have a lot of leave out, um, once I turn to the side, you, you can really tell it's, you know, it's not my hair, but I don't really care about all of that. That's not important to me. But this side, and then I think especially over here, you can tell um, because it's a little bit, you know, less hair here and then it has a lot of thickness here. So, and that's what I mean by the density of the hair um, with it not being as dense would be nice. Just something that's a little bit less dense. But yeah, this is it. Um, so actually, I, I think this turned out really nice. I really do. Um, so if you guys are interested in this piece, I'm gonna leave the information for this particular one probably across the screen here, but obviously, you know, in the description box, it's gonna be there. So you guys can always go there, look for discount codes, um, link to the site, to this particular piece. Um, and again, thank you guys so much for coming out, hanging out with me, um, seeing what I do with this. So, um, but yeah, if you have any questions, um, anything, just leave all the information in the description box and I'll be sure to get back with you. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.